Hey people, it's me again. So, anyways, it's now been like three weeks since Simon has been missing as far as that goes. And, and in a way, I kind of won't rule it out as far as what happened to him until something else is there. You know, but I kind of believe that maybe he got picked up by one of the neighbors on, on the other street, you know, that's uh, over, like, in this direction, you know, where I'm kind of pointing, you know. You know, which is kind of like a little bit on the, the east, where the street I live on kind of starts up, and there's another street that kind of uh, goes in the other direction, you yeah. know. So, anyways, um... As I was saying about all that now, I mean, it's been like three weeks and I kind of felt a little bummed out a little bit earlier today, you know, and I felt like I was really upset over that sort of thing, you know, and and then I think I kind of realized, you know, the sort of thing that had happened before with Simon, you know, and not just Simon, but some of, like, his predecessors, you know, like, I think it was like, not just like uh Tom two but Tom one and uh I just like assumed as far as with Tom one that he might he might have gotten eaten up by a coyotes as far as that goes because the last time he had ran out was like oh, a long time ago maybe I was still like maybe about four or five at that time, and I remember him having an an infected leg as far as that goes, and it was all bandaged up. So, I don't know whatever happened to him at that point, you know. Plus, I kind of barely remember Tom one. You know, but... Although, as far as, like, Crispy, like, my, my brother's old cat, you know, um, he had ran off because it was, like, one of my dad's uh, tenants at the time was going to take care of him you know and then I think he left like the either the door open or it was the window open and then Crispy had jumped out and uh, we just basically assumed that maybe like one of the other tenants and the other quadruplexes near where my dad's apartments are uh, might have gotten crispy as far as that goes, to tell the truth, you know. So, I don't know what's going to really happen with, uh, with Simon there, you know. So, I, I mean, I just probably just assume that the sort of thing there, because the same day when he ran out, you know, when I tried to find him there, I couldn't even find him at that spot there. You know, and then the fact is, that there's always been these stories like, like of cats or dogs that have been missing for a couple of months or even years, and they end up coming back as far as that goes. So I figure, you know, I'm not gonna really rule rule that out simply because of that, you know. But although, like. Garfy is kind of pretty lonely without Simon as far as that goes because he's the only non-human in the house you know and he just does not know what to do being in the only non-human there you know so anyways I guess that's part of it until next time